In this lesson, I'm going to look a little bit more closely at the um, solutions of a quadratic equation, and we're going to introduce the idea of the discriminant. often denoted by the symbol triangle. Now if we try and solve the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught, the general equation, um, let's quickly look at the steps in case you haven't seen this before of deriving the formula for solving um, this equation. You certainly will have used the formula before. So if I divide by a Then complete the square, so remember how to do that, you halve the number of x's, so that's b over 2a. You square that number, which is b squared over 4a squared, and you take it away again, and then let's pop in the c over a. Leave the square bracket on the left put everything else onto the right, so that becomes plus b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. And if I multiply the bottom line by 4a, that becomes 4a squared. I'll multiply the top by 4a, giving me 4ac so that as a single fraction I get b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Now take the square root of each side, x plus b over 2a is plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over. Now the square root of 4a squared, what is 4a squared? Well it's 2a times 2a, so if I square root it I get 2a. Put the plus 2a, b over 2a onto this side becomes minus b over 2a and we end up with the well-known formula that you must have seen a number of times, x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now of course in core 1 you're not allowed a calculator. So that what are the sort of questions that they're going to ask you with, um, with reference to that formula? Because you can use it and leave sirs in your answer but you can't work out any decimal answers. But that's not the thing in core one that they're actually particularly interested in. Now, this quantity here, b squared minus 4ac, is what we call the discriminant. So delta, the discriminant, is equal to b squared minus 4ac. What are the properties of that? Well, just think about what you're actually trying to do. You, you, you have an equation, you have some numbers here for a, b and c, you pile them into the equation and you try and work it out. And at some stage, you'll work out this number inside the square root, the discriminant. If the discriminant is a positive number, then the square root of the number will exist. And so x will be minus b plus or minus whatever that square root is. So in other words, you get two solutions. And the, if you like, the grown-up word for solution is root. So the root of an equation. So there are two roots. What happens, though, if delta is zero? Well, if delta is zero, there's nothing to add or subtract. So I only get one solution. I get one root. Finally, if the discriminant is negative, 
Well, then I'm trying to find the square root of a negative number. Now, at this stage, you can't do that. In higher mathematics, there are ways of getting around this, but at this stage, you can't do it. So that means there are no solutions. So the discriminant is a very quick way of making a decision about your quadratic equation. So if we find, uh, let me get hold of some examples here to, to copy down. So let's look at some quadratics then. 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0. Next one, 4x squared minus 3x plus 8 equals 0. And finally, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 0. So if I was given those equations, how quickly could you tell me whether there were any solutions at all, whether there was one solution, or whether there were two solutions? Well, now we have a method, the discriminant. So let's work out the discriminant. So for the first one, the discriminant is b squared. b is 4, 4 squared is 16. Take away 4ac, so that's 4 times 2 is 8, times 3 is negative 24, because it's negative 3. So it's 16 take away negative 24, which is plus 40 which is, of course, positive. What does the rule say? If the discriminant is positive, there are two solutions. So this equation here has got two roots. And notice, I don't have to work them out. I get this uh, information without working them out. Now let's try the next one. Delta for this one. B squared. B is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. Take away. 4a is 16. 16 times 8. We don't even need to work that out, do we? Non-calculator exam, you might be a bit stuck for time. That's clearly much larger than 9. That's clearly going to be negative. And if it's negative, there are no solutions, no roots. So I can look at that. I saved myself a lot of time trying to find them by finding, well, I wouldn't have found any roots, would I? So um, I can determine quickly there are no solutions. And then finally, let's look at this one here. B squared, 12 squared is 144 minus... 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 9 is also 144. The discriminant is 0, so this equation only has one root. So there we can see then the power of this quantity, the discriminant, helps us determine the nature of the solutions of a quadratic equation. And it's a very, very popular topic uh, in the exam. And in the next lesson, we'll look at how um, they make the question around this sort of idea just that little bit more tricky. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.